humanitarian parole. Legal migration process for Cubans, Haitians, Nicaraguans, and Venezuelans. How to request a travel authorization extension if the beneficiary is unable to travel within the 90 days. Travel authorization has been granted to the beneficiary named in the Form I-134, Declaration of Financial Support. Please have the beneficiary check their MyUSCIS online account at https colon slash slash myaccount.uscis.gov for the result of their authorization to travel. Once the individual has been authorized to travel to the United States to seek humanitarian parole under process for Venezuelans, they will be responsible for arranging and funding their own travel. This travel authorization is valid for 90 days. If the beneficiary cannot travel within the 90-day time frame, the sponsor may submit a one-time request for a travel authorization extension that will give the beneficiary an additional 90 days to arrange travel to the United States. Sponsors must submit the extension request no more than 30 days before the original approved travel authorization period expires and no more than 30 days after the original approved travel authorization period expires. Sponsors must request a separate extension for each beneficiary by submitting a secure message to USCIS through their online account. To submit a one-time request for a travel authorization extension that will give the beneficiary an additional 90 days to arrange travel to the United States. Step 1. Log into your online account at https colon slash slash myaccount.uscis.gov. Step 2. From the top of the web page, select the My Account drop-down menu and select Inbox. Step 3. Click on the New Message button. Step 4. For the subject, select a case already filed online from the drop-down menu, and for your case receipt number, select your receipt number for Form I-134, Declaration of Financial Support. Step 5. In the message field, state your continued interest in supporting your named beneficiary who has not yet traveled to the United States and that you are requesting an extension of the beneficiary's travel authorization, then click Send. USCIS will review the supporter's request for a travel authorization extension and submit it, along with the named beneficiary's information, to CBP to conduct additional vetting. If CBP approves your request, your beneficiary will receive an email notification when the extended travel authorization notice has been posted to their account. Please note that for privacy reasons, only the beneficiary will be able to view their extended travel authorization notice in their online account. The beneficiary should notify you when they receive their extended travel authorization notice. For more information, please visit www.uscis.gov. If you have any other questions, please visit the USCIS Contact Center, where you can access our online tools 24-7. If you move, you must update your address with USCIS within 10 days using our online tool at uscis.gov address change and in your USCIS online account.